brand new PS Vita release, video debug released, which allows you to watch videos on the video app on your PS Vita. So this is very cool. You can basically put MP4 videos inside of UXO data and um, you actually put them inside the video folder. And then you can actually use the video app on your PS Vita to watch them. Normally you would have to transfer them with QCMA, um, but that just takes a long time and QCMA is very glitchy. So it's easier to copy them across using Vita Shell and run them using this simple plugin. So this plugin was made by Silicon Peanut. They make loads and loads of cool PS Vita plugins and applications. So obviously shout out to them to making this. And yeah, basically in this video, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna install this and we're going to test it out. As you can see, these are the video formats which are supported. So we've got a basic MP4 and maybe a couple of others, but the basic MP4 is pretty much the only one we're really interested in. This guy tested out a few videos and he said he managed to get it working quite well. So I'm going to test out a music video and I'm gonna test out a Pokemon episode Episode, and we're gonna see how those perform. So I'm going to install this via auto plugin because it's just a lot easier for me. If you guys would like to install it manually, you can, you can go to this link, but I don't know why you'd want to. Auto plugin is so easy, you might as well just use that. So let's go to my downloads folder and let me show you the videos that I have got. So even before we install the plugin, we can actually still copy across our videos. That's perfectly fine. So I've got two videos right here. I've got um Cap O X X O. This is like a music um, guy I like. He makes like music and stuff. And then I've got Pokemon Episode One. So we're going to try both of these, and we're going to see what happens. So grab your MP4 files, right click, and go down to Copy. Then you need to find your Vita. And what you want to do is go to View at the top if you're on Windows 10, and you need to click on Hidden Items. As you can see, that will show all of the hidden folders. Now the folder we're looking for is called Video. So it's actually a hidden folder. This one right here. We're going to double click on it. I've actually already got something right in here, but we're going to right click and paste and we're going to paste in our videos from our downloads folder. So what we're going to do, we're going to give this a couple of seconds to copy across and we can actually get these videos working, these MP4 videos working, without actually having to use QCMA. Okay guys, so on your PS Vita, what we're going to do first is we're going to go ahead and open up Auto Plugin. You must have the latest version of Auto Plugin, which is version 4.01 for this to work. If you don't have 4.01, you can either install the VPK from the website, or if you have internet connection, you can press X and it will just update like that. So we are going to go on Plugins of Vita, we're going to press X, Install Plugins, and we need to scroll down to the V section. The plugin we're looking for is called Video. So what we're going to do, we're going to scroll all the way down to V and we're going to go and find it. So it should be this one right here, Video VBug by Silica and Peanut version 1 and the time of recording this video is version 1. So what we're going to do, we're going to press X on this one and then we're just going to wait for it to install and once it's finished installing we need to press start to exit, press X again and our PS Vita is going to restart. So once your PS Vita restarts, the first thing you want to do is you want to launch Hencore. Unless you have um, permanent custom firmware, then you can just go ahead and launch the video app. But I will show you guys that in a second, so I'm just going to exit this. And what you guys want to do is you want to launch the official video app, which is on your PS Vita. This comes with your PS Vita if you factory set it. You know, it's just one of the official apps. So we're just going to go and find it. It's called Videos, just like this. This is what the background looks like. We're going to tap on Start. We're going to go ahead and launch this up. And if you guys did it correctly and you installed your plugin in the correct place, you're going to see this folder. It's called the test folder. What you want to do on this one is press X to go onto it, press X on UXO video, and we can actually find our videos on here. So you go, this is the music video I got. What I can actually do is start this up, and as you can see, it plays. And I have to admit, the quality of this is actually really nice. It looks genuinely really good. And the sound is pretty good as well. Well, obviously, that's just the PS Vita sound, but it's not no lags there's no issues it's a lot better than all of the video music players that I've actually seen it works really well and then of course we can watch our Pokemon episode okay so the Pokemon episode does not work and I'm not sure why it was a weird picture in my downloads folder so maybe this one is corrupt let me try this um, trash gang video as well and this one appears to play perfectly fine as well so there you go guys, that is how you watch videos on your PS Vita, pretty easy to do, all you need to do is install that simple plugin, and these video players work really well, this is definitely the best quality video player I have seen for the PS Vita, so if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.